You're a bully. Bully, bully, bully. So I am giving you until tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, for you to write me an email or do a video and apologize to me. It's going to be a beautiful journey because if you don't, I'm going to ruin your life. Don't, I'm going to ruin your life. Don't, I'm going to ruin your life. Homophobia is the type of career that does not pay. It doesn't have benefits, UIF or payee. And I have just made your life a little bit harder. You are now person number six who has lost their job or opportunity of employment because they came on my TikTok, messed around and found out. I'm going to ruin your life. Hi, Sabelum Kunubaba. I have found where you work in Pine Town um, and I'm just about to send them an email. But before I press send on the email, I would like us to read the email together and you can tell me if you are happy with the English that is written on this email. Okay, thank you so much. I'm reading it now for you. Ne? I hope this mail finds you well. I am writing to bring a deeply concerning matter to your immediate attention regarding an employee at your company. I regret to inform you that I have been subjected to highly inappropriate and sexually driven remarks by this employee whilst in uniform. Recently, I received a video message from this employee in which he explicitly asked me about, where, about the whereabouts of my private parts. This incident has left me feeling deeply uncomfortable and violated. What is particularly alarming is the fact that these actions were carried out while the employee was representing your company, wearing your company's uniform. This direct correlation between your employee's behavior and your company's image is deeply concerning. I fear that this incident may be just the tip of the iceberg, potentially indicating a pattern of behavior that extends beyond social media interactions. It is important to acknowledge that such behavior not only affects me, but may also impact colleagues who may identify as gay or female, creating a hostile working environment for them as well. I believe it is of the utmost importance that we address this matter urgently to ensure a safe, a safe and respectful work environment for all employees. Such behavior undermines the principles of respect, inclusivity, and professionalism that should be upheld within your organization. I kindly request that you take immediate and appropriate action to thoroughly investigate this matter. It is essential to send a clear message that such behavior is not tolerated within your company. I am prepared, I am prepared to provide any additional details or evidence that may assist in your investigation. I trust you. I trust in your commitment to uphold the values of your company and maintain a professional and inclusive work environment. I appreciate your attention for this matter and the urgent resolution that it deserves. Thank you for understanding and your cooperation. Are you happy with how I've written everything? Um, can I press send or do you have any edits for me before I send out this email? Because by Monday, when you report to duty, they will have this email with your photo and all of the details that are found about you. Enjoy the video. I'm gonna ruin your life. I found you in all of 10 minutes. Now I'm going to stop every single project and every single thing that I'm doing in my life right now. And I'm going to invest every single dime and every single penny that I have to ensure that you are found and that you are arrested. See, the difference is I am well aware that I am going to die at the hands of an African or South African person who is homophobic because hating us is fashionable to the point that you guys do it when you are drinking and these conversations are, are, are a joke and then they turn into action and that's what you are doing. Your friends, your girlfriend and your family and your church and everything have allowed you to hate us and made it so acceptable to the point that you now want to act on the hate that you have been taught because if i were to sit down with you and ask you exactly why you hate me you don't have an answer but don't stress i'm gonna give you a real reason to hate me i'm gonna ruin your life hi i have found where you work in pine town um i want to go I see danger. I want to go out to fish a mullow or to see a mutual miracle. I want to go, especially with a mazoo. I want to go to shame. To one ungabby, and garbage bullet to go to shop. Um, and I got an hour, Dominic. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, get yourself a man, get laid, Uber right. 
Hi, Sabelum Kunu Baba. I have found where you work in Pine Town. Um, hey, Jabla Tinis Nasavins. Jabla Tinis Nasavins. I, Bab Dominique, Prat Dominique, Abuti Dominique. Ah, ah. When I'm here, two minutes, two minutes, Santo Rubut Semo to Horobera Kakai. Horwenum Kubisako Merko. Eh? I went, I look so bright, Baka so cool. Because Dominic said so. Oh man, when yo, how I used to love you because you stood up for yourself, but now you have become such a bully. Yes, mommy, you've become such a bully. For two minutes, two minutes, we're not on the road, but we're now man, we're now man. Who are you, Vel? I man, we've seen so many gays. We've lived, we've lived with so many gays. Hey, Rita Baba, when I'm to when Tonto Ruku, we were because Dominic said so. I win. Emma Hanyan, they told me, or but or Beraka guy, Ruth said, Post Saka or eh, Bautra Kawen, if Bautra Kawen, it doesn't mean or not to Ruka Kawen. Ah, yo, or lapis seeds, you're a bully, 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 bully. You are, you are never gonna do it. I, yes, I saw you. You were there, swearing at me, calling me a bully. Eh, 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 I'm, I'm not a cow, bitch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat, make you dress, make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sick, baby, baby, pissy, and you'll get the pressure. Vault unlocked. Hello, what is up you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle and this is The Vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then you guys and in this video, we are going to be talking about a very popular um, TikToker. Now, I've done a video about this guy, or them, rather. I don't know his, pro, his or her pronouns. Um, according to my knowledge, he was born male. So, I don't know if... And they do identify as a boy. And they say that, I know for a fact that I'm a boy. It's just that this is how I choose to live my life. Uh, it gets tricky. With these type of situations right hello my name is dominic zata and i am a man i am mr zata interesting ain't it <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about dominic i don't know his surname and i don't care to know it really i've done a video about him in the past and i was just talking about how there's a fakeness to this guy. There's a vibe that I'm not liking about this guy or this lady. Um, but today I really want to get into it because there's a video that I saw that was trending. In fact, I've seen multiple other videos um, stitched by other people about U Dominique. Now what happens is when Dominique posts a video, the reason why I was actually saying that this guy is probably really fake as fuck. Is because he cross dresses or he dresses as a woman. I don't know if he actually really does believe that he's a woman. Because he does say that I know I'm a man. So it's very confusing for me. Type of situation. Right? He does that. And then he says I know that I'm not. I was born a man. But this is who I am now. Type of situation. Everybody must respect um, who I say I am, you know how it goes with the LGBTQIA plus 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 community, right? If you don't respect who they say that they are, even if it defies the laws of gender roles, if you don't agree with them, then you're gonna be in trouble. I've done multiple videos about this. To the point where I was like, these people are actually running the world. Um, the videos where they had that choir that was singing, We'll convert your children. And I was like, no, you're not going to convert my child. 
you're not gonna convert my child because these things are out there on youtube for our kids to see even if you put parental control and all these funny things our kids are smart enough to get to bypass through these things and then they start to question themselves okay, am i this am i that or what, what's going on we'll convert your children no you're not gonna convert our children type of situation all right um Oh, Dominique, every time he comes across a comment that to him he will deem as homophobic, he always has to go for the jugular. And the jugular, in this case, is very, very deep. But I don't think that he understands that it's very, very deep. I think that he thinks that he's doing the Lord's work. I think that he thinks that he is defending everyone that falls under the LGBTQIA plus community. Like he's some kind of martyr. Right? But he tends to forget. Or maybe he doesn't even have the knowledge that most martyrs perish. They do, unfortunately. Because you're going to fight for the rights of these, this group of people or this thing that you are standing up against. Or you are fighting for. And that's how you become a martyr. You gotta perish. To make it really count. And I'm mentioning the perishing situation. Because I feel like. In Dominique's situation. He could lead to that place. Whereby it is so unnecessary. For him to get there. Because there are people. That came before him. That we consider celebrities. That didn't have to go through so much of the drama that he's going through. But because he is vile and a bully, he's going through that. One example is Uso Mizi. I don't think it was the easiest thing for him to integrate into society as a gay man. Or is he bisexual? I don't know. So Mizi, it's kind of tricky, you know. But with U Dominique, he's not... He might say that he's advocating for the LGBTQIA plus community, but in actuality, he's advocating for himself. And people need to realize this. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Dominique is now on a reality show. All right? And on that show, he did mention how his family doesn't accept that he was born this way. Born this way type of situation. As a matter of fact, every time he has to go home, he has to dress up as a boy and be a boy. And that's very uncomfortable for him that he cannot express himself because his family has um, their belief system. Right? And I'm back in case in. I have to be a man. I have to wear a chino. I have to wear sneakers. I have to wear men's clothing. I have to walk into the men's shop. Oh, Dominique is fighting against his family more than what he is fighting against the general public that leaves him nasty, nasty comments. He has childhood trauma. He has adulthood trauma from the fact that he knows that his family will never accept him being a gay man or a cross-dresser, transvestite. I don't know what actually, what he is really. I, I'm not sure. And I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm saying that because I really don't know. Right? I, however, I do know that he does shebang bang men. And get it in the backside. That was a situation. Because he mentioned that on Gogos Koteni's show. Obviously, he would be on that show. On the podcast. Because... <laughs> I always ask you guys, why would you want to put yourself in the danger zone? But the people that are dangerous would put themselves in a dangerous position anyway. So it doesn't really matter that type of situation. But let me not digress. Right? So he's part of the LGBTQIA um, community. And on TikTok, he always gets these comments that are derogatory or offensive to him with his gayism or whatever it is that he is this recent um situation that has been going on on tiktok somebody had asked him um where's your pee pee as in where's your your, your male part and he was very offended by this to the point where and this is not the first time 
when somebody ever calls out Dominique about his gayism, because he was born this way, he always researches, and it's very easy to find people or research who they are, where they work, and so on. He researches where this person comes from, where they work, and so on and so forth, to the point where he's gunning for them to get fired from work because they left him an unfavorable comment. It is wrong for you to leave a comment, type a few words, and discriminate against me as a gay person or a transvestite or a cross-dresser, whatever it is. It is wrong for you to do that. So therefore, this is not Dominique's thinking. Therefore, you must be fired from your job because how is it that you are going to represent a company, a school, a business, whatever it is, and you are homophobic? So Dominique goes through these comments. And now, at some point, Dominique was actually, and I, I was saying that it's like fake positivity. It's like you're trying to drill it into our heads so much that you're so fabulous and gay and all these things are nails or this or that. To the point where it's like you're even better than real woman. That's the message that he was trying to drill into our heads. Your man wants me, but I'm mad. Your man wants me because of this, and you're a woman, I'm a guy. And nobody seems to pick up on this. He has a problem. He has a very serious problem. He does. One thing about me, before we go further in this video, I'm not homophobic. As a matter of fact, I just don't really care. I know what I believe in. I know what I believe in, and it's what I believe in, and no one's going to change what I feel, just like no one's going to change how Dominique feels about his situation overall. All right? But if somebody comments something, just a comment that was typed by a keyboard warrior or a person that has a different perspective to what his is, he gets really upset to the point where he will hunt you down, find where you work, and try to get you fired from your workplace. This is where and I knew it from, from long ago. This is why I don't like this guy. Because he's calling everybody else a bully. But the truth of the matter is, he is also a bully. When you then try to get, you are emailing these people's um, um, places of work, their employers, to say, oh, how dare you employ a person like this? And they were in your, 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 uh, your brand and everything on social media. How dare you this, this, that. Obviously, the company doesn't want to be misrepresented. And of course, if you are transphobic, wada, 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 then you're a bad person. And it's a bad look for the company because we all have to be inclusive. But that, the inclusivity doesn't apply for these people. The LGBTQIA+, plus, not all of them, some of them. It doesn't. You want me, you're forcing me to be inclusive or to accept who you are, how you are. But you can't accept the fact that in my mind, it doesn't compute who you are and what you are. These are my core values. I'm not saying that it's okay for people to leave nasty, homophobic um, comments that's not fine say your piece but be respectful about it ask a question if you don't have the knowledge about the situation but don't be a bitch about the situation whether you understand it or not don't be a bitch about it you don't have to do that right but Dominique takes it upon himself to be the martyr to be the savior of the LGBTQI a plus community and nobody else is really they might applaud him in the comment section but nobody else is actually doing what he's doing nobody else is really coming out to defend him the way he's defending the community you're not defending any fucking community you're defending yourself because you have childhood trauma that you need to deal with because your family doesn't accept you and this is the reason why other gay and lesbian people are not doing or behaving the way that you are behaving 
why do you want to go to the extent when somebody leaves you a bad comment it's a bad comment we've all had them we've all even had death threats we've had people come to our houses trying to kill us because people get that sensitive right but then why are you trying to get people fired from their jobs and then when you look at the people that Dominique is trying to get fired from the job because they left an unfavorable comment to him, they don't even work these glamorous, high-paying jobs. It's teachers, it's security guards. It's people that you would know, just in general, in life, are probably the breadwinners, but they're not even making that much money. A bulk of their salary is going to their transport, and then they're going to try to patch up where they can to support their families. And then Dominique comes out to say how he has this corporate job and he's great in his job. Blah, 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 blah. And yet you want to take this, this little that people have because they left you a bad comment. You're evil. You are absolutely, you're not even a martyr. You shouldn't be considered as a martyr, a savior of the LGBTQIA plus community. You shouldn't be considered as anything of anything. You're vile. You are a bully. And I was right about you. You're a dick. And you don't even use it. My bad. Sometimes these words just come out of my face. You're a dick. You gotta get this person who is probably a breadwinner of their family fired. You're not only affecting that person's life. You're affecting so many other generations. They're probably taking care of an elderly person, there's kids, there's aunts. There's a line. Because I promise you this, if you research it, guys, these people are not working the most glamorous jobs. They're just average people working average jobs with, and you research it with average pay. But they voice their opinion or they say something nasty. People say nasty shit on the internet. You cannot be an internet um, person. With a large following. And take all these things. So you're going to get everyone? You're going to take everything personally? You're going to get everyone fired? That's bullshit. You're so weak. You are so weak. You're not cut out for this game. Why are you trying to advocate for this community? If you're so soft. You're soft. You really are. In my opinion. Because there's a line of people whose lives you are affecting and it's going to come back to you. I understand standing up for yourself and doing the right thing. But there is a, a way for you to do this. You need to have a certain je ne sais quoi about the situation. And you don't because you are ready to fight, fight, fight. Because your family doesn't accept that you are gay and a cross-dresser. That is so sad. Wang, wang, wang. When, when, when people have problems in this life and now you are going to take a lot of bread out of the mouths of a lot of people by coming for these people and coming for the jobs why is it that you can't just respond to a comment with a bad comment as well diss them fine search them up and then find something that you can use to diss them Nobody is taking any bread out of your mouth and your family. Your family doesn't look like they are doing all that well. You said that you are taking care of them. They are taking care of people say shit. People need to be educated. But you cannot change people's core values and beliefs about gay and lesbian people or the LGBTQIA community. And you cannot change the fact that we do see how dangerous that community can really be. And you are actually an example of how dangerous the community can really be. If you don't accept this garrism and the situation, then you must lose your job and your whole family must starve. You are actually an example. You are highlighting it. And this is going to come back to bite you in the ass. There are so many other gay, lesbian, LGBT um, people that have come out, but they don't do what you're doing. You need to actually go and sit down with Usomizi and get some tips and pointers how to survive in this industry. Because people are starting to see what I was saying before. You're a bully. Because you haven't dealt with your childhood traumas. You're so sad and hurt by the fact that your family, your family, doesn't accept who the fuck you are. So everybody else must suffer because of a sentence 
Not even a sentence. This guy said, E P P E P. Where is the D? Two words. You want to get that person fired. Another time, it was a teacher. Another time, it was someone else. Oh, hi, Spider-Man, when you respond. I found out where you work. Do you think that you're the only person that can find out where people are, where they work, and so on and so forth? Don't you feel like it's a dangerous situation for yourself? Obviously, I don't wish any harm on anyone. But it's quite concerning that you think that you are this big... I don't know what it is you think you are, but big is in there. That you are the only one that can find people. People can find you. And at the rate that you are going in, you don't even realize it. Because I think that even after the show, you landed that show, your head has grown so much, as much as your body. Right? Everything is now proportional. And this is not even a diss. It's the fact. Everything is now proportional. That you think that you can come for people in this way. There's a reason why God says that do not do anything. Don't, 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 don't try and get a revenge type of situation. Let me handle it. If people are doing something wrong to you, let me handle it. And trust me, I believe that 110%. I was facing some other funny things that I know for a fact that God sorted out. Let God handle your situations. You don't have to go that far because you are actually killing many other people in that person's um, life. That salary that that person has is feeding a lot of people. Look at the people. Actually, think about it. As a You pretend to be so smart and educated and all these things. You pretend to be. I'm saying you pretend to be because I 110% believe that you are not that smart. First of all. Second of all, I don't even believe that you are advocating for the LGBTQIA plus community. I feel like you are just advocating for yourself because you are pissed that your family doesn't accept you. That is so sad. It really is. When, when, when. Cry me a river. That's life. People are going through worse than what you are. Doesn't mean that we shouldn't feel sorry for you. We do. But what about the kids, aunties, uncles, grandmothers and stuff that are not going to suffer because if this person loses their job because Dominique got pissed at a two-word comment. There are so many other ways that you can advocate for the LGBTQIA plus community. Advocate for yourself or teach these people a lesson than to come for their bread and butter. You are going to reap what you sow. You might think that I'm a hero. You're not a fucking hero. If you were, then there would have been more um, people in the LGBTQIA community that were doing what you are doing. You don't even fucking realize it because your head is as big as your fucking body at this point. That's just my honest opinion. That's how I see the situation. It's growing. That you can't even see past how far this can actually go. It's not just one person. The one person that sent you the comment is not the only person that's going to suffer from what you are doing. And you think that you are advocating your grades. This is going to come to bite you in as I promise you this. And everyone is going to come back to this video and say, Lynn said it. I know this for a fact. I've already done a video about you. And you're coming back into my existence for a reason. And you don't even see it. God has given you a platform to advocate and to be a boss bitch. But you are using it incorrectly. At this point, you're not even putting out the positive. I feel like it's fake positivity. You are standing there. You know what? Uh, there's like a bo boiled egg and multiple boiled eggs just built around you. Some of us feel like that's how our body structures are. Because we don't feel comfortable in our bodies. But I feel like you also don't feel comfortable in your body. You can't. You, I know this for a fact. I've been very, very thick before. You can't be that thick and feel very comfortable. And that confidence. It's fake as fuck. You know yourself. You're guessing yourself out. But you're probably crying yourself to sleep. Not only because of how you look. And that's the image that you portray to people. I look so great. You're lying. And everybody actually knows it. I don't even understand why people gas you up in that way. Because they can see what we can all see. It's not... You're not hiding it. You're not hiding it. People need to become more realistic about the situation. And the people that actually applaud you are people that are scared 
that if they say anything else, they are true opinions that you're gonna come for their jobs and they know that they've got so much to lose. Family members, there's a line of people that are depending on that money from that one person. So nobody's ever allowed to um, voice their opinions about the LGBTQIA um, plus community because someone like you is going to get them fired. But the LGBTQIA plus community can voice their opinions until the sun don't shine no more. Their values and their beliefs. But nobody else can say anything because you'll be in trouble. That's fucking bullshit. You guys don't run this world. A person can only accept as much as they can accept. From their core values and beliefs. Nobody is forced to say, yeah, 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 LGBTQIA plus. Oh, this fat man that is dressed as a woman is so wonderful and so great because they're advocating. Yes, you are right, Dominique. You look so beautiful when you don't. If somebody doesn't believe that you do and you post the content, that's how they fucking feel. You posted it on a public platform for them to give their opinion. Because then why did you post it? You expected everyone to believe that you are so great when they don't? What's on? Are you fucking crazy? And you are a bully. We've seen the reality show that you are on. In, girl, in, in girls' world, we'd say you're a bitch. And you know it. But also, it's because you have some traumas. You told us how your family doesn't accept you. That's the validation that you actually want. Imagine if you, because you said that you are taking care of your family. If your job was taken away from you because of your social media shit. How that would feel. How the people in your family would feel. I wonder if somebody was to do some digging or something like that. And find a wormhole. Or just a little piece of something that they could use against you for you to lose your job. As innocent as what you think you are doing advocating for everyone. I wonder how you would feel. I wonder how your family would feel. Because you would have to move back to that place where you are not accepted. To go live out your life. And you can't be gay anymore. You have to dress like a boy. So do you understand that there is a way that you can conduct yourself and address these issues without being a bitch? Because there are more people than the person that you are actually trying to get fired. There's more people down that line. People are breadwinners. Yes, your feelings were hurt, but you want to be in this industry. You need to have a thick skin and think logically. This is not going to end well. And I've seen many people saying that um, this... Um, um, LGBTQIA violence and deaths and stuff is going to come about in your life. I pray to God that it doesn't come about. But then you also come out to foreshadow it's going to happen. You say to people, I'm going to die at the hands of a homophobe. Why would you do that? Do you not understand how spiritual this life is and what you say you will manifest, especially in the way that you do it? Time and time again, you actually really do believe in it. I believe that you do believe. You will manifest it and you will become that martyr, but you'll be dead. And it will be all for nothing. You are not even changing anything when you say that you are standing up for... You're not changing anything. The only thing that you're going to change is a family's a livelihood. The fact that they can't even get bread. That's the only thing. What have you changed? What have you changed? You've changed nothing with your gayism and advocating for who? You're advocating for yourself. Because you have traumas. It's ridiculous. And people don't seem to see it because people are scared of you. Especially people that work 9 to 5. They are so terrified of you to say the wrong thing. You're a bully. If people are afraid to speak their mind or their opinions with you as, as an individual, there is a problem. You're a bully. People don't respect you. They fear you. And that's the worst thing you could ever want or have in your life. You walk into a room and you think that people love you so much. They don't. They're just gasping and holding their breath. And hoping that you will leave because they're afraid that you might come for their jobs. And I promise you this. Come and knows where everybody's address is. And God is watching. God is not going to be pleased with the fact that there are kids and grandmothers that are not going to eat. Because this guy lost his job because of you. Because you are so pissed about a comment. You can't be mature enough or strong enough to fight this situation in a different way. You're not smart. You pretend to be so smart. You're not that smart. You really are not. 
You're weak. You're so sensitive. And I get it. You've had a rough childhood. Your family doesn't accept you. We've all had a rough something in life. But God is watching. The fact that there are people that are going to suffer because of this one person that made this stupid comment. They will be judged for their comment if they are. If they are. But you will be judged for every other single person that has to suffer because that person lost a job. It's, it's a, like a, a, it trickles down. It trickles down. And you don't even see that. And that is not a smart person to me. I don't want people to be bullied or to be offended. But let people have their opinions about situations. And I don't want people to leave nasty comments. But people do that shit because they get triggered as well. Maybe that guy that left that nasty comment is gay and he can't come out of the closet. And so he's just, um, you understand, he's expressing himself in this way because he wishes he could be you. Be as from a flamboyant as you have this uh, confidence as much as you do. I don't even know why you have this confidence at this point. I've seen your videos, but kudos to you for having it. That's great. But you don't seem to think past this point of the co it's a comment. Do you know how many comments we get? Death threats, nasty comments, how ugly we look, this, this, and the, the other. But we just keep it fucking moving. You're not going to try and get a hold of everybody, get everybody fired. Because some of us think that there's a line. And that person is probably suffering from what they are suffering from. But that's your content now at this point. Everybody knows Dominic for that. And everybody is starting to see how much of a bully you fucking are. You really are. And no one is going to take you seriously. No one is even going to touch you. You are not advocating for anything at this point you because you are not changing anything the only thing you are changing is the course of your own life you putting yourself in danger and then you say i know this is how i'm going to perish then it's going to happen because you are agreeing with it how stupid are you really you need to deal with your childhood traumas you need to go and deal with your family that doesn't accept you if you want to be on mainstream media and be a, a content creator you take these things and you just roll with the punches and then you find ways and avenues that you can advocate in the right way where people multiple people are not going to be affected yes you're going to be affected it's fine you've put yourself in the space to be affected and judged why are you so fucking sensitive at your big size at your big age i mean relax Go deal with the traumas that you have because that's your problem more than these people. Nobody is actually ca ca coming for you, trying to kill you. No, not right now. But now with what you are doing, people are getting really upset. People are starting to see who you are. This is the time of exposure in life, in the world. People will be, will be exposed. The mosques will fall. People are starting to see who you are. You're not going to get far. You're not going to get far. And even the 9 to 5 that you brag about so much is going to be in jeopardy i promise you this it's very sad i don't want that for you but i promise you if you don't slow your roll with this threatening and this taking people's lives and jobs their livelihoods whereby they are supporting multiple other people you're going to find yourself unfortunately in a lot of hot water wake up this is not how you advocate for the lgbtqia plus community there's a better classier way Damn, Dominique, you pretend to be, you use bombastic words. We can all use bombastic words. You're not that smart. That's the thing. You need to realize that you're not the smartest person in the room. And when you walk into a room, it doesn't start to dazzle and shine. It doesn't. People are wondering, like, what the fuck is going on? They're looking at you in amazement. That's a fact. This is the truth that you need to hear. They're looking at you in amazement because they're trying to figure out what is going on over there in your mind you're thinking oh, everybody loves me it's not like that wake up and smell the fucking roses be realistic you're playing with your career both your careers your nine to five and this um internet or mainstream media one it doesn't work this way what you're doing is going to get you into a lot of hot water unfortunately and you don't want to become the martyr in that kind of way. 
because people are warning you about what it's very dangerous what you're doing but it is not if people can't get to you they've seen your family and stuff on tv who do you think they're going to go after next the people that you love if they cannot reach you they go for where it's going to really hurt people would rather have you standing and alive just to see you suffering and pain and take the ones that you love now you'll never get closure because those people will be gone the ones that didn't accept you it's misery do you not see the chain of events that could potentially happen you are not saving anyone in the lgbtqia plus community by getting people fired and so on and so forth and anyone that stands by you with this rubbish behavior is immature and stupid someone needs to tell you that this is only going to end really badly for you you're coming for people that could potentially be um connected to or have relations with ingabi and all these things and you want to say i know this is how i'm gonna perish uh, a man is gonna kill me because i'm homophobic you are saying that you are putting it into your existence words are spells be careful with what you say about yourself. I've seen so many videos of you and most of them, you are saying that same thing. You recite it over, you believe it. Which means that even in your mind, in your brain, you can visualize it. It will happen. It will come to pass. Be careful with that. And be careful with the people you are fucking around. Somebody leaves you a bad comment, respond with a bad comment as well or just keep it moving and just ignore them. People are going to be nasty. People don't understand everybody's situation. People don't understand the LGBTQIA plus community or they have their own uh, morals and values or their own religious beliefs. You cannot convert everyone and convince everyone that this is right that you are doing just like they cannot convert you or change you. Why do you get to have the last say? Why do you become that um, scary, creepy monster because your feelings were hurt? Go deal with your family. Sort your shit out with them. And then we can come back and talk. But what are you doing? It's so stupid. And you don't even see it because you're fighting this good fight. But who are you fighting for? Because no one is fighting for you. No one is fighting for you. People in the comments might say, Yes, Dominique. Open your eyes. We've been doing this internet thing for a long time. Where we know that sometimes the people that might be encouraging you actually don't like you and they want to see your demise so be careful anyway if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to this channel and baby baby i'll see you in the next one and guys please be careful out there i do understand that there are causes that we are trying to fight for or against but you need to actually um be very smart and really consider the ramifications of the things that you are doing if you are trying to get back at someone it never really works there are many people in or that fall under or behind that one particular person who you are trying to get back especially when it comes to people's work it's hard to find employment in this country just be careful with that type of situation and who you are messing with people are very vile and dangerous out there right there's a way that you can advocate for these type of situations then there's a way that's just not gonna work type of situation anyway if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next one bye